Have you ever watched a movie that was obviously changed by the studio against the wishes of the writer? Where the producers have clearly interfered and changed it beyond all recognition? If the writer was credited as Alan Smithy, you almost certainly have, because that's the name used by Hollywood when the real person disowns the movie. This is not a new thing, and in fact this kind of interference was going on long before the invention of cinematography. For example, in 1823 the German writer Heinrich Heine wrote a play called Almanzor about a Muslim and a Christian who fall in love. Yep, that's right. Nearly a hundred years ago, Heine tackled the issue of religious and racial conflict. He set his play in Granada at the turn of the 16th century, just at the time that Christians had finally succeeded in taking southern Spain from the Muslims. One scene depicts a real event. In 1499, the Archbishop of Toledo, Jiménez, ordered the burning of Islamic books, except for medical texts. And this is the origin of Heine's most famous line. That was but a prelude. Where they burn books, they will ultimately burn people as well. You might know the quote, but you may not have heard of the play that it comes from. And that's because it was only ever performed once. And it was a disaster. It was at the National Theatre in Braunschweig, and it was on August the 20th, 1823. Exactly what happened and why is not known with any certainty, because there were no journalists there at the time. Critics had been given a preview of the play, and most of them liked it, so it's not clear why the play's opening night ended in a riot. What we do know is that the director had made lots of changes to the script, and we know that Heine was not very happy about that. And later, for whatever reason, the audience was also not very happy. According to at least one report, very soon after the play began, audience members started jeering and whistling. Whether that was because of the changes that were made to the script, or something else completely different, that's something that we can only guess at. The most common theory is that it had something to do with anti-Semitism. Heinrich Heine was born a Jew, although he did then convert to Christianity. But maybe large sections of the audience were there purely to protest against the play's basic message of tolerance. European society at the time was very sharply divided between the conservatives, who wanted to restore everything to what it was before the French Revolution, and the liberals, who wanted to set up a proper republic. And Heine was definitely a liberal. One of the actors later claimed that during the play, one audience member asked another who the author was, and received in reply, the Jew Heine. Now, it just so happened that in Braunschweig at the time there was a Jewish money changer with that name. And so this audience member said very loudly for everybody to hear, What? We're listening to that stupid Jew's nonsense? Oh, we're not going to stand for that. And according to the story, that is when it all kicked off. Things got so bad that the play was abandoned and then never performed again. In fact, this was, as far as anyone knows, the only one of Heinrich Heine's plays to be performed on stage, at least while he was still alive. Not only that, but after all the things that happened to his Almanzor, and in particular the supreme irony in having his plea for tolerance give way to a fistfight, Heine never wrote another play again. He turned instead to poetry. Thanks for watching. If you'd like to send me a postcard, here's the address. And don't forget to visit my website and follow me on Twitter and Facebook. Also, if you'd like access to special bonus content and help with the costs of running this channel, please consider making a small monthly donation on Patreon.